They're getting further away than ever before. It was targeted for November 19th. I am told that if it does happen now, it's going to get pushed into either December or January. And the issue, Max, I am told, is that there are disagreement in the contract over events, expenses, and basically transparency related to those expenses. Terrence Crawford agreed to take the short end of the split and walk, work off of no guarantee. And he wants to be able to just, you know, have some transparency there related to it since he's going to be working off of the net revenue. And so far, they have been unable to clear this up. And for Crawford to agree to work off of just a per split shows you how badly he wants this, in my opinion. Hold on a second. No one would ever agree to a net. The fact that Crawford's, wor you, you work off the gross. But if you're working off the net, then certainly if what you're reporting is accurate, then Crawford would be out of his mind not to insist on that. And you're telling me that that's what's holding it up? Al Heyman, who's advising Errol Spence, is not giving Terrence Crawford oversight over expenses or giving him transparency to the books, you know, of the books. He's not letting him take a look at the books. And that's why Crawford won't sign, because that sounds to me, Mike, like a duck. Al Heyman doesn't think that his guy is going to win and is ducking Terrence Crawford. But it sounds like a duck to me. If it quacks like a duck and walks like a duck, it's a duck. 46.4 for the champion. I am the So that was Max Kellerman on ESPN. He said that Errol Spence is ducking Terrence Crawford and hiding behind Al Heyman. He also revealed that the mega fight between Crawford and Errol Spence is in jeopardy, where the fight could be off for 2022. If the fight does take place, they looking at early 2023 in January or at best late December in 2022. Now, this is extremely bad news for the boxing fans as Crawford has already did everything he was asked to do. From the fans telling him to cross the street and go to PBC, to accepting all of Errol Spence's demands of taking less money and a smaller split, to negotiating with Al Heyman directly for five months now, and the fight has yet to be made even after Crawford has already accepted all of Errol Spence terms. Now, according to ESPN, Crawford accepted less money where Errol Spence is going to get the lion's share. Crawford also agreed to a smaller split and no guarantee money. I repeat, no guarantee money. There was never a time I could recall a fight at this magnitude where they was guaranteed money for one fighter but not the other fighter everyone knows this is the biggest fight in boxing this is the fight of the decade the fight of our generation but there's no guarantee money for crawford wait a minute the math is not adding up so you telling me every single arrow spence opponent received guarantee money mikey garcia received a 50-50 split all around the board. 50-50 split on the pay-per-view revenue and 50-50 split on the guarantee money, where Mikey made 3 million guarantee. Even Sean Porter, who according to Errol Spence, can't sell a family dinner. He received a 50-50 split on the pay-per-view and guarantee money, where he received 2 million guarantee. Even Danny Garcia, who had nothing to offer when he fought Errol Spence, he received a 60-40 split, which included 5 million guarantee. We have Errol Spence's latest opponent, Ugas. He received 50-50 split on the pay-per-view and 60-40 split on the guarantee money. However, some way, somehow, Terrence Crawford, the pound-for-pound -pound king, who is a bigger star than all of the opponents Errol Spence faced, Crawford received zero guarantee money. No guarantee money from Errol Spence, while Errol Spence agreed to give 60-40 or 50-50 guarantee splits to all of his other opponents he fought on pay-per-view. If I didn't know any better, it sounds like Errol Spence is trying to force Crawford to walk away from the negotiations table by giving him a bad deal because this is not negotiating in good faith. By the sound of it, this is a worse deal than the one Devin Haney took 
to fight Combosis in Australia. And I believe the more Crawford senses Errol Spence is trying to push him to walk away from the fight, the more he wants it. Because it's getting personal for Crawford. This fight is getting more and more personal for Crawford since Errol Spence is disrespecting him in negotiations. So the more Errol Spence demands, the more confidence Crawford is getting and the more he wants the fight. That's why he agreed to everything every single thing Errol Spence demanded from less money to less split and no guarantee money zero guarantee money that's why Bernie the boxer Crawford homeboy he said we agreed to fight Errol Spence for free at this point what he meant was we agreed to zero guarantee so that's not the holdup Crawford has already agreed to every single Errol Spence demand. The no guarantee money, the less split, the less money, so on and so forth. The only holdup at this point is that Crawford wants transparency related to the event expenses since the contract contains no guaranteed purse, which is not too much to ask at all, if you ask me. In other words, this is not a demand. All Crawford is asking for is everything he agreed to related to the Errol Spence terms he wants to receive. He doesn't want there to be funny business. He wants to do good business. So the fact that Crawford already agreed to less money and no guarantee, then there's no reason not to give Crawford transparency related to the event expenses. All Crawford wants here is not to get played like a fool. At the end of the day, or at least the night, Al Heyman is the president of PBC. He's a manager. He wants this fight to happen because he want to make the biggest fight in boxing. This is good for PBC. This is great for his name, brand, reputation, and his pocket. Therefore, if the fight doesn't happen, this will all be blamed on Errol Spence because Crawford has already did every single thing he could to make this fight come to fruition, including taking the short end of the stick. Crawford already did everything the critics has asked him to do, to no prevail. And there's no way the fight doesn't happen if Errol Spence wants this fight to happen. Because we know Crawford wants this fight as bad as he want to breathe. Because he crossed the street, he came to PBC, and accepted Zero guarantee money. Less money, less split, you name it. So if Errol Spence tells Al Heyman, this is the only fight I want, there is no way a fight doesn't happen. And again, if the fight doesn't happen, God forbid, the fight of our decade falling apart will all be blamed on Errol Spence. This will be a bad stamp on Errol Spence brand. I don't have to tell you, his reputation will be ruined. Worse than Keith Thurman when he avoided Errol Spence. And I just can't see Errol Spence living with himself being Keith Thurman 2.0. So I believe the fight will still happen. I still have faith. But what I can't comprehend is PBC offering Canelo Alvarez 40 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view and offering Caleb Plant 10 million that's a total of 50 million guaranteed. However, Crawford gets zero guarantee for the biggest fight in boxing. It makes no sense whatsoever for PBC to offer Canelo Alvarez 100 million guaranteed plus pay per view for Charlo and Benavidez or Charlo and Errol Spence. On the other hand, they offer Terence Crawford zero guarantee money to make matters worse they were transparent with canelo they were willing to give him a one fight deal a two fight deal a three fight deal whatever he requested they delivered so why is crawford being treated in such a manner well according to max kellerman on max boxing he believes that Errol Spence is trying to duck crawford by getting Al Heyman to make the fight as difficult as possible to make for Crawford. In other words, block the fight from coming to fruition. That's what Max Kellerman believes.
And while Max Kellerman have reasonable reasons to believe Errol Spence is hiding behind Al Heyman to avoid Crawford, based on how the negotiations are going. The irony of it all, Max Kellerman rarely calls anyone a duck. In fact, Max Kellerman never called a fighter on the hope list a duck, even if they did duck and avoid a fight by turning it down. For example, Canelo Alvarez, he turned down 100 million plus pay-per-view where he could have had made a total of 200 million to fight Charlo and Benavidez, only to lose in a cherry pick gone wrong afterwards to Bivol. But would you guys believe Max Kellerman, instead of calling Canelo a duck, he defended Canelo for ducking Charlo and Benavidez? That's right. Max Kellerman defended Canelo for cherry picking and ducking. On the other hand, he's calling Errol Spence a duck immediately with no hesitation whatsoever, even though Errol Spence is still negotiating with Crawford. In comparison to Canelo, when he actually turned down 100 million guaranteed plus pay-per-view, Max Kellerman didn't call Canelo a duck. In fact, he defended Canelo for ducking because Canelo has the complexion for the connection to get the ultimate protection. That's something Errol Spence doesn't have. Can you imagine if Errol Spence does what Canelo did and actually turned down the fight with Crawford? What is Max Kellerman going to call him then? Since he already called him a duck while he's still negotiating. My point is, Max Kellerman only calls black fighters ducks. And he will even jump to conclusions to call them ducks, so on and so forth. Therefore, Max Kellerman. Keep the same energy, don't flip, when it comes to the fighters on the hope list. When Canelo is ducking, when Tyson Fury is ducking, when Lomachenko is ducking, when Teofimo Lopez was ducking, and the list goes on and on and on. But guess what? When it comes to the fighters on the hope list, that's when Max Kellerman all of a sudden turns into an attorney, their attorney, in order to defend them for ducking. That's why I always said the fighters on the coincidental list don't have the privilege to duck like the fighters on the hope list because instead of old media defending them like they defend the fighters on the hope list, they automatically gonna criticize them and they're gonna be the first one to do it. Majority of the times, they will even jump to conclusions because Errol Spence and the fighters on the coincidental list they have the complexion for the neglection. This ain't a coincidence. This is all part of old media agenda. Nevertheless, all of that aside, if the fight doesn't come to fruition, then it's clearly a duck by Errol Spence, which that will ruin his reputation. So I can't see Errol Spence turning himself into Keith Thurman 2.0 and even worse. But only time will tell. We shall see. With the facts being laid out, these are just foods for thoughts. So go ahead and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued. On the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV, peace. And I'm on to the next one. Hey, I told y'all I was gonna pull up on Spence. Hey, you and me, I told him. Hey, I love him. I love him. I told him I wasn't that word. I told him I wasn't that word. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit. That's why we be scared and shit. It's free smoke, Junior. There are no time for this. T-Buck Crawford. Yeah. Everybody know who the champion is at 147. Who the king is? Me. And he's too small. He's too small. He's little. He light in the ass. Hey, look. He's light in the ass. Ain't nobody say Floyd was light in the ass. He's light in the ass. He's not Floyd. What you talking about? I knew you was gonna be here. And you knew I was gonna pull I knew up. Gonna be, that's why I came. Did you know I, I was gonna, gonna pull up? I, oh God, I knew you was gonna be here. Uh, did right, you know I was gonna pull hey, up? Hey, see, where you at? Hey, see, did you know yeah, I, I got a text message, nigga, from three o'clock. And you got a, hey, and, and you pulled up. And you got a FaceTime from me, and you didn't answer. I don't know your number. <laughs> 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 but now you know. Save it.